Hi, I'm Matt from Play Official, and I'm going to be discussing with you today some of the changes that are coming up in Miss of Pandora. There's going to be a lot of changes, and Blizzard have said themselves, you know, they've spent almost double the amount of time that they spent on Cataclysm with this expansion and everything, so we're hoping some really good content to be released this time round. So I'm going to get right into it. So straight away with raiding. In Dragon Soul, after you've kind of cleared it and stuff, you end up with pretty much nothing to do. You either progress on heroics which for some guilds and some people are just too hard you know you don't want to be put through that or you kind of just continue throughout the normal running the same thing over and over again it gets to be honest really boring those 14 boss encounters spread across what's probably going to be three raids it really gives you a big variation of what to do you know you can go to raid one one week raid two another week mix and match it up you know get the first easier bosses down first and then progress later on when you feel you're ready for it i feel this is probably a really good idea because if you don't like maybe you know the theme of the raid for example i myself wasn't exactly a big fan of all of the fiery stuff that went on in firelands however you know thrown in the four winds with all of the wind idea i really love that you know, I loved um, the feel and looks of Bastion of Twilight, so, you know, I'm really all in for that. In Mists, we're looking at Garrosh being the last boss, you know, with all the factions, both Horde and Alliance kind of turning against him. You know, apparently he's going to become a bit too big for his boots, should we say, and everyone kind of turns against him to hopefully bring him down. So we'll see how that works out. That last and final raid is going to be called Siege of Orgrimmar. So, you know, Siege of the Wormrest Temple, I'm assuming, you know, probably going to be involved in Garrosh's hold as maybe kind of centerpiece. That it all kind of evolves around with the land around it, kind of like Dragon Soul worked out. Blizzard are also looking to bring in a lot back more of the world stuff rather than queuing up to go raid, queuing up to go dungeon you know pvp they want to bring in more world bosses i think they were talking about bringing in two world bosses for tier 14 probably more after that if it's successful and also world pvp rewards from the um world bosses are likely to be mounts they said from the you know that will drop exclusively from each world boss so each world boss will drop a different mount Looking for raids getting a lot of changes, you know, around. They're hoping to, well, they will include all of the new bosses with the looking for raid, obviously. So, again, they'll have three difficulties. The looking for raid, the normal version, of course, the heroic version. Okay, one thing that really surprised me is Valor Point gear no longer exists, you know. You're going to be getting your gear from those nine initial dungeons that they're hoping to implant as soon as Mist comes out. They're the heroic dungeons. Um, obviously we've got the new heroic Sholomance in there which are, apparently they've been working really hard on. So I can't wait to see what that's like. So Valor Point this time round aren't going to be used to buy gear as I said. You know, They're going to be used to upgrade your current gear so you could go through the heroics, you know, farm some heroics. Hopefully there'll be a good kind of difficulty like the beginning of Kata. I always love the first patch of the expansions, you know, they always seem to be the, the kind of hardest, but again, the most smooth out of it all. So, you know, you can imagine yourself kind of farming this sort of gear from the heroics and upgrading it to more of a, a raid kind of standard. And then you go into the raids and you obtain the gear from the raids, upgrade that to more of a heroic kind of standard you go into heroics and maybe even kind of upgrade that to an even higher standard of the heroic gear which i guess would really help you know with progression and really give you a kind of overpowered feel to your character in this the developers are hoping to really bring you know dailies back into the game such as molten front they felt was kind of a lot too long you know you got the rewards from it but a really long quest line really to get to those last rewards that you wanted and then again they were kind of lower geared than you really want anyway you know going into raids 
you probably replace them within a couple of weeks of raiding and your dailies are going to be giving you some form of token or maybe currency uh, these, this token or currency can be used every time you kill a boss it gives you a chance of getting an extra drop you know this can be anything from gold or an item that's actually beneficial to you which could be a nice upgrade the best thing about this is this extra item nobody can roll in it it goes straight to you so you know you're doing the dailies you kind of not only getting the extra income and the you know benefit from doing the dailies such as rep but you're also getting a shot at extra loot you know to put you kind of ahead of where everyone else is at the moment these tokens or currency that you get from dailies can also be used to boost your roles in looking for raid you know so if there's that one item that you really want and it drops you know you can use this token on it give you a slight roll bonus and you know you got that big you know bit of an edge of a chance of getting it compared to everyone else hopefully this will settle the sort of issue that people seem to have as in oh i've come in looking for raid i'm not getting anything so you know just kind of end up rolling on any gear to see what you can get just for satisfaction of looting something with the new companions and their kind of dueling sort of feel i guess you want to call it uh each different companion will have six abilities i'm assuming they'll be kind of in groups as in hunter pets are but who knows yeah but you'll be able to pick three abilities from these total of six and you know really hopefully give it a sort of mini game aspect apparently you'll be able to queue up against other players so instead of queuing up for a dungeon you can queue up against other companions kind of thing with their players playing them they really want to make this so that it has a competitive sort of feel to it but again there's no major disadvantage if you lose you know if you lose it kind of doesn't matter you know it doesn't really give you any downsides or you know but if you win, you know, there may be like a small reward in it for you just to keep you motivated and stuff. Instead of just popping in an area like Tolbrad or Windgrass, they're hoping to naturally emerge a sort of world PvP environment back into the game. So instead of having to put like set area in, they're hoping that people will kind of, they'll put the right environment in the right place at the right time and kind of turn it into a big conflict, you know. We all know that Zolaman and Zulgarub, you know, they're okay when it first came out, but moving from the 9 heroics that we had in tier 11 to the 2 heroics we have in tier 12, it kind of felt like it, it got a bit boring. What the developers are open to do in Mists is keep the amount of content, you know, but again they're hoping to keep that amount of content throughout so you know we might get nine dungeons first time round then the second time round instead of getting two might get another nine or you know maybe upgrade some of the older ones so again we have the same amount to do instead of just running those same two pretty boring to be honest dungeons the areas of professions that kind of, you know, seem to be dying out a bit, they're hoping to bring that back. For example, cooking is now having kind of four different sections. There's going to be steaming, frying and boiling. I'm not sure what the last one is. But each, you know, having each one maxed is going to div give you a different bonus. For example, having steaming mats might give you a bonus to intellect or maybe stamina or strength, agility, you know. Uh, you can train all of these up at once and gain all of the bonuses and you know create food for your whole raid group uh, a lot more mounts are going to be added in next to expansion fortunately we're not just getting reskins you know we're getting loads more designs hopefully even better than like probably my favorite mount in the game at the moment drake of the north wind you know i really like that mount Hopefully maybe something even better than that. All those corrupted firehawks are really nice as well. If they can make something better than that, I would love it. Blizzard are also looking to bring in a lot back more of the world stuff rather than queuing up to go raid, queuing up to go dungeon, you know, PvP. They want to bring in more world bosses. I think they were talking about bringing in two world bosses for tier 14. 
probably more after that if it's successful and also world pvp rewards from the um, world bosses are likely to be mounts they said from the you know that will drop exclusively from each world boss so each world boss will drop a different mount 